Hello again. Today we're going to talk about the advanced encryption standard, which is a very widely used commercial encryption algorithm. Okay, so we said last time that most uh, symmetric encryption algorithms are block structured, meaning that they take a block of text and, and manipulate that as a whole entity. Uh, and they're also the case that most of these uh, algorithms are implemented in rounds. So what happens is you take your input and you mangle it in some way in the first round and then you do it again and you do it again through some number of rounds. That's certainly the case for AES. These are called iterated block ciphers. Um, typically these algorithms are designed to process a lot of text very quickly because you want to shove you know, large, large volumes of text through them. And so they're implemented in such a way that most of the operations, the mangling that they perform, is done by operations which are easy to implement on modern microprocessors. So arithmetic operations, bitwise operations, shifting, that sort of thing, or table lookup. Uh, th these are operations that are cheap and easy to implement. Okay, so AES. AES was... Uh, resulted from a uh, process that the National Institute of Standards and Technology started in 1995. Uh, there was a previous algorithm called DES, the Data Encryption Standard, which was uh, deemed at that time to be no longer sufficiently secure. And so uh, NIST asked for uh, new algorithms to be submitted that had these follow the following properties. They had to be unclassified, publicly disclosed, available royalty-free for use worldwide, and of the technical characteristics, they had to be a uh, symmetric encryption algorithm for a block size of 128 bits, and they had to be usable with key sizes of 128, 192, or 256 bits. Uh, a number of contenders were submitted, and the winning uh, contender was from some Dutch uh, researchers named Vincent Ryman and Joan Damon, and the algorithm was called Rindell which is a combination of their two names. Okay, so how does it work? Well, it works on a 128-bit block, and so you take that 128 bits, which is uh, 16 bytes, and you, you form an array, a 4x4 four four array of bytes, and that's the state, and you, you keep uh, manipulating that state, modifying that state through a number of rounds. So the key is also, uh, in a, in a four by something array. You know, if it's 128 bits, it's a four by four array. If it's 192, it's a four by six. 256, it's a four by eight array. Uh, and you, from that original key, by a recursive process, you generate a number of sub keys which are used in each round of the algorithm. And so AES uses 10, 12, or 14 rounds depending upon the size of the key. 10 rounds for 128, uh, 12 for uh, 192 and 14 for 256. Okay, so each round then consists of four steps. Uh, the first step we saw in an earlier lecture is called subbytes, and all it is is you take each byte in the array and replace it by another byte. Just look it up in a, in a big table, a table of 256 elements. Uh, and so all it is is a simple substitution algorithm on the bytes of the array. The second step is shift rows, which we also saw in an earlier lecture. Um, and so we have this 4x4 four four array, and so you shift the first row not at all, the second row by 1, the third row by 2, and the fourth row by 3. Okay, the third step is a little more complicated than the others. It's called mixed columns. And the way it works is you take each column of the array uh, and multiply that column by a fixed uh, four by four array of integers. And you, s you see it here. It's this constant array which is used each time. And so uh, the result is, a, is again a column and, you, and so you do that substitution. Now this uh, doesn't say so, but actually the multiplication is not just integer multiplication. It's multiplication in a particular Galois field. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. And the last step in the round is called add round key. And you take the, the round key which was generated from the original key, which is again a 128-bit quantity, and you XOR it with a state. And so what happens is you do this, these four steps over and over again through 10 rounds or 12 rounds or 14 rounds. Uh, and the result is that you've so mangled 
the, uh, the original input that it would be very difficult for somebody to invert the process if they didn't know the key. But of course you have to be able to invert the process if you do know the key or you couldn't uh, decrypt the text. Right, so what does the decryption algorithm look like? Well, the subkeys are used in reverse order. Each step is inverted and the first and the last rounds are slightly different in both the encryption and the decryption. The only thing that's significantly different is that in the mixed column step, remember that's the one where we're multiplying by a fixed array, you have to multiply by the inverse of that array in this case. And if you recall that, that mixed columns uh, array, it had numbers like uh, 1, 2, and 3 in it. And it's very easy to optimize those multiplications. For example, multiplication by 1 is no multiplication at all. Multiplication by 2 is just a, it's just a shift to the left. But the inverse uh, array that you have to multiply by has numbers like uh, 9, 11, 13. And so that can't be nearly as optimized. And that's why uh, most of the time decryption takes typically a, a lot longer than encryption. Okay, so AES is used in a large number of commercial uh, applications. It's very widely used. The algorithm is fairly new but it's, it's undergone a lot of scrutiny in the last 15 years. No flaws have been discovered in the algorithm, no significant flaws anyway, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. It's always possible that somebody can come up with one. Uh, AES is modular. Uh, it, the original algorithm, the Rindell algorithm, actually works with multiple sizes of blocks and, and multi uh, multiple different key lengths. The AES was the standardization of that algorithm for 128 blocks and those standard three key sizes. Okay, so what have we said? Well, AES is this widely used modern symmetric encryption algorithm, uh, block structured, uses a block of 128 bits and it allows keys of size 128 bits, 192 bits or 256 bits and a corresponding number of rounds. Thanks. <laughs>